Welcome to the penultimate level of Watcher's Keep in Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition Throne of Ball. It is a place of the man your stature, Edwin. This is a grand, epic adventure. And we are proving ourselves worthy through a series of tests to uh, helm fun. And also not uh, at all what uh, every adventure is put through. Right then, let's go to the next test, see what we can do here. So last time we beat the imp in mind games. Fine, fine. Oh dear, I th think we recognize this type of architecture. Big and open, time to quick save. And I think what I'm already going to do is just start casting the protection from fire. In fact, do we still, yeah. No, ah, oh, you haven't rested since the dragon. I guess, oh well. That's a bloody shame. Let's try every spell we got. Um, what else do we have? Um, hmm. On oh, no, fine. Protection from fear, definitely. I think we'll also just cast uh, haste here. Yeah? Yes, we're gonna need this One stuff. Day, I'll make you pay for Let's see. Every time you yeah, click where's on the me? dragon? There's the dragon! I am the fierce and death that awaits you that break the seal. You've come to challenge me, or perhaps for the warrior skull. You shall have neither victory or the skull. Let the slaughter begin! Very intelligent dragon. I don't think this is a real, actual, practical dragon. We are going to move uh, the spell casters to the side. Because we want them out of the way. So far, he does not seem to be doing too well. We're hitting him. Let us just throw some anti-magic against it. What else have we got? Uh, this one. All right, team, let's go uh, berserk as much as we can, I guess. Power attack, better than nothing. Uh, Ficonia, get out of here. Let's cast some badass, let's cast some Storm of Vengeance here. Um, all right, let's get Hydeans on. Are hitting it. It's injured. Let's toss some direct damage spells on it. Maybe that'll be enough. What how do we have in direct damage spells? Not much. Since you know we kind of still need to rest. I suppose fire arrows here, since this is a green dragon, not a red dragon. So fire is not that it's not immune to fire at the very least. Hmm. I don't think the centigrade will work. Acid arrow won't work on this since it's a green dragon. Magic missile, I guess. Yeah, there's dragons out there that are immune to magic missile. And Viconia, Bolt of Glory. Oh, I hate the insect swarms. Oh, we got it! Who killed it? Imowin! Impressive! Truly a fearsome foe defeated, brave Skizzy. Your courage is without question. You have completed this challenge. Ah. Now they are affected by the insects form and such, and it's just a horrid noise. Hopefully this will all go away pretty soon. Alright, does the spell magic work here? I'm pretty sick and tired of this. No, it doesn't. Well, I guess I'll just lower the audio on the uh, game right now. Get this sword. 
find your trinket upon the ground. Peace and quiet. Hindu's doom. It's a samurai of great renown, Sans Defender. So that is another blade we can upgrade. But for now, we will put it in the uh, to be upgraded bag. Oh, that container is already full. Can we maybe get something out of this? Yeah, we can get the tree of life nuts out. I'm actually curious what they do. Maybe I'll just start eating them. Uh, this seems like something uh, she would eat. Maybe we can also put these in here. Very good. Yeah, I'd like to keep that as an upgrade back. I've um, been developing some more abilities. Ball abilities. Like your own. I don't mean to. They just come. Although I don't think they're very strong. Oh, this is a shame that this annoying sound goes over it. Oh dear. What kind of abilities? I have some minor spell-like power, though they're nothing I could not uh, could do normally with my own magic. I think they're spells only a priest could cast, usually. Plus, I've been going through some physical changes as well. I notice I'm getting stronger, faster, for instance. But they are not natural changes. Oh, that is important. Is that you're more useful now? Oh, I thought maybe it meant more to you, Skizney, than just how useful I could be. My mistake. I'll talk to someone else about it, I guess. Oh, we should maybe have been more protective. So what has changed about Imwin? Has her stats gone? Yes, her dexterity has gone up quite a bit, as is her constitution. And I guess her strength too is... Yeah, she's slightly less pathetic in the strength category now. Nice! She is more useful. Very good. Oh, and she's got to cure poison and divine stuff. I am walking away from this now. Oh my fucking god! Oh, peace. So I was going to eat some nuts. Let's eat some nuts. They're pretty good, they're not amazing. Let's eat some more of these nuts. Edwin, eat some nuts! I do not like to eat nuts. I like eating peaches, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do not. Everyone, eat some nuts! Ah, nuts. There we go, that were all the nuts. Now there's no more nuts. On my way. I do not know what my fascination with nuts yeah. is at this point. Okay, so we also have the warrior's skull, but let's go and proceed to see if we can do the last challenge. Most unpleasant memory. I think we can do it, because I think I remember what it is. Hello, party, will you stop going crazy and actually, you know? Oh dear. Do I have to do all the work you owe me? Yeah, we're all fucked. Right you are. I I have had enough. Yes. It is time to sleep. Alright, let's go in. There, now they're sentient. Ah yes, I remember this. Shit ton of orcs. So, thankfully, we still have a lot of fireballs left. I think they'll be a good idea, yeah? Alright, mages, time to shine! Rain death and epic amounts down upon these filthy orcs! Let's get a cool elemental here. And another storm of vengeance will be great. Ah, Skizney's fighting, that's fine. Let's see what you got. I meant to do that. Like. 
So yes, these orcs are all getting uh, slaughtered by the Storm of Death. Let's throw out some more Storm of Death! I love this. How about Cloud Kill? That's a good spell. Does uh, Imoen have Cloud Kill? No, but yes, she does! How about more Cloud Kill? Oh, they're coming near the door now. How about more fireball on this? Uh... Now we have more fireballs. Yeah, they're now just appearing near the door because everything not appearing near the door dies. So I guess this is just the idea of fighting the endless horde. We have more cool spells. So this orc has been annoying. Let's do something about him. Yeah, we'll rest after all these orcs are dead. Alright. Your stamina is great, your perseverance admirable. You have survived the horde and completed this challenge. For the horde! Now they're all dead. Cool. So just waiting out the cloud kill. Ah, oh, magic arrows that will undoubtedly just sell. Uh-huh, more magic arrows anywhere. I'm not gonna leave this gold behind, obviously. There may be ore coins. The ore coins can still be melted down to proper coinage. With my face on it. I have had enough. It is time to sleep. Under them. Wow, there's a lot of dead orcs here. I might not take these all these gems. We'll see. Actually, yeah, I will take all these gems. But I'll probably just skip ahead off screen to handle that. So, one moment and we'll be through this looting. Alright, loot nicely gathered. That is good. I'll sort into bags. Let's see what's in this pool. Some more coinage. Ooh, that's a spear. Some used potions and we some ammo. Some poor fools to do this for us. This is no place for a ah, my stature. Ixil's nail plus four. Yeah, we can combine that with the Ixil's nail, I believe. Cool. Uh, let us have. I don't know if I can yeah, drink this. There we go. We have too many potions. Yes, one day I'll make you pay for every time you click on me. So that is this whole looted now. We hopefully get forth. proof of the ghost. You have completed the challenges of the gauntlet and prove your heart worthy of to face the imprisoned one. The key to the final seal is yours. Very well. The heart key. Hooray, don't I feel like I'm in bloody Captain Planet. So, we'll open this in a bit, but first we have the Warrior Skull, which we can use on this altar. Well, that hopefully gives us the final key. And I remember this, because this is really cool. So let's try this out. This altar bears description of the noble warrior. You place the skull of the eternal warrior from your pack onto the altar and it activates its magic. Uh, 
You feel a small part of your own life force being drawn through space and time then landing with an abrupt thump into a body that is not your own. Your true power body seems paralyzed, almost frozen in time. Your senses are assailed with a strange double awareness. Part of your uh, remains in front of the altar, but another part of, you, of your being is being held within the body and spirit of the warrior. You are instinctively understand that you can use the spirit, uh, the spirit panel on the altar to control the spirit bo bo warrior's body. You now partially inhabit with the simple mental commands. You look around you in your spirit warrior eyes and you find yourself in what's obviously a dungeon. Implements of torture hanging from the walls and there's a pile of bones in the corner. Yeah, what is happening now is we are playing D&D &D within D&D. &D. That's uh, very meta and quite interesting. So, um, let us search the room. The torture device on the wall both compel you and fill you with a sense of revulsion. Other than that, there's nothing to note in this room. Yeah, okay. So, um, let us go to... I believe we can go north here. Yeah? Actually, let's go east. Ho! Oh, a red-eyed goblin jumps out from the shadows near the east wall. He gnashes his sharp little teeth in anger and uh, an anticipation. He bangs his axe against a small shield and issuing a challenge. Let us attack the goblin! Ow! We took some damage, that's a shame. The corpse of the goblin lies uh, middle. His axis and shield is broken. Search the room! Careful not to see. Find nothing of value. Damn it, okay. Should have maybe gone for the other. To the north instead. Oh well. Let's head to the east, always into the east. So the last time, numerous bones scattered around the floor. Let's examine the treasure chest. I think we're making the wrong choices here. You cautiously approach the chest, with a swirl of century old bones to spring to life, assemble themselves into a large skeleton. The undead creature advances. Guess we'll have to fight it. Yeah, I think we're gonna die. Because we are hopefully not supposed to take this much damage early on. Let us open a chest. A wand of missiles. Okay. Search the room. Nope. Let's go north. And I yeah, I think uh, we made a wrong choice with our passages and our choices to fight too much! Too much! As you step inside this room, a growling war dog leaps out of the shadows. Attack the war dog! Attack everything! Oh, goodbye doggy. Oh, it took no damage there, that's a plus. You step over the blood-soaked corpse of the canine who attacked you earlier. The room smells of wet dark. And blood, probably! Search the room. You find an iron key and a blue potion, which the spirit warrior immediately quaffs down. Fortunately, the potion heals your wounds somewhat. You tuck in the iron key into your belt. Oh, that's a plus. Alright, maybe we'll live. Let's go south. Oh, wait, that's wrong. No, 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 we've been here. Uh, it's north. And then we go west. Da, 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 da. Let's go west. Yeah, I remember now. We should have just gone north. And the manacles on the wall and a few not bone bones in the corner. There does not to be anything remarkable about this room in the dungeon. Search the room regardless! Stuffed inside one of the hollow bones in the corner is a scroll inscribed from an unfamiliar incantation and a picture of a gibberling. You decide to save the scroll for later. Paste into your pack. Alright, we will uh, go uh, west again. It's 
Sparkling clear water cascades down the sculpted fountain that dominates this room. Search the room. The water is crystal clear. It's easy to see that there's uh, nothing in the fountain itself. The rest of the room is virtually bare. Yeah, you might be tempted to drink from the fountain. Don't. I remember, this is actually a poison fountain. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to ignore all this and go north. Oh dear, I don't know this. She entered this well front well. A spectral figure in rotten rats materializes near the far wall. It points an immense crooked finger in your direction, glides towards you. Uh, hmm. I th think we need to escape here. Let's escape east. Oh dear. Turn and flee in terror, but not before the ghost brushes you with his bony finger, numbing your body. I don't think we have a chance here, because, you know... We've been wounded several times. We maybe should have just fought. There's little to distinguish this room from any others. First of all, let's search the room. I could have sworn there's some very important things to find here. Well, let's fight the ghost again. Attack the ghost! I kind of am hoping to die so we can redo this. We're pretty good warriors to survive all this. But yeah, we've taken a beating. Search the room. Yeah, I'm just going to skip through. Let us, let us actually just... I'm going to redo this uh, one moment. So we're back at the beginning again and I have found something else. Out. If you die in this D&D game, you will die in real life! Well, the game real life, not real life real life. So, since we are playing D&D &D in a game of D&D, &D, so yeah. Ultimate meta! Anyways, let's do the right path now. Let us go north. So the trick here will be to fight, uh, get as much buffs from everything. Um, before we go fighting uh, difficult things. So right now we go north, then we go into the east. Uh, let us search the room. And we get a nice scroll, and then we go to the east again to fight the dog, since a dog is a simple battle. On the flip side though, this dog gives a healing potion, which we might kind of need after battles. Oh, the dog bit us! Bastard dog. Anyways, we can. I suppose we can just have a few simple fights, so right now we'll go... Let's see, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll go to the south. Honestly, we may have been on the right path after all. So, uh, search the room, find nothing of value, examine the treasure chest, skeleton comes to life, fight the skeleton. So we know that there's a potion in the room with the dog, so we'll save that till we have had some fight under our belt. Open the chest, one of missile. Very good. I don't know how much charge are on there. I think it's just one, so we need to be careful with it. Um, so now we go, let's say, let's go north again. Go to the room with the ghost. And then once we fought the ghost, we quaff down this potion right uh, in this room. So to the uh, west. And to the north. Let's see if we can find anything in this room. Must we never search this? Nothing of worth. Okay. So I guess we'll go and fight the ghost now. And
And yeah, I killed myself by drinking a whole bunch from that fountain there. So let us attack the ghost, hope we survive. We can take quite a beating, I found out, so... Epic d and fights in the room with the ghost. Now, come on, hit him. Very good. So let us search the room. With the ghost vanquish, you notice many furnishings of this chamber. A table, a desk, a bookcase, and several chairs fill the room. There is a small chest in the corner. First, let's search the room. You examine each piece of furniture in detail, paying particular attention to the books on the shelf. And you sh your shirts prove fruitless, however. Alright, then let's open the chest. Inside the chest, there's a magical helmet you place on your head and spirit war bar you body uh, body uh, on the body of the spirit warrior knowing the extra protection will come in handy hooray uh, there's nothing else in the room so now we'll go let's see we'll go um, let's go south and go see if we can fight the goblin then quaff down that healing potion and we'll go south again And now we go east. Right, let's beat that goblin! Hurrah! And then we just die from goblin attacks. That will be uh, pretty saddening. No, we killed it easily. Search the room. Nothing of value. I thought there was something. Yeah, oh well. Should have. No! Ah yes, I went the right way. So we open the chest, off to the north, and let's grab that potion. Search the room, find an iron key and a blue potion. Wonder if the iron key was maybe for the... But no, we just examined the chest, we didn't open it. Oh well. Uh, west. So let's go uh, to the room to the north of there now. Now we go north. And east onto new unexplored areas of this dungeon. This room is uh, empty save for a small desk and fine oak in the corner. There's nothing on top of the desk, but there is a single small drawer which draws your attention. Search the room first. Apart from the desk itself, there's nothing of interest in the room. Open the desk drawer, but I think it will end badly. From mental command, you construct a spirit to open the desk drawer. The desk is coated with a powerful contact poison. Your spirit warrior takes great damage due to the effects of the deadly poison. No, I, uh... oh. Well, as you see... You, uh... Die in this game, you die in real life. Let's just load back to this square then. Right, okay, so this time I've read straight to this room with the desk with the contact poison. Because I believe if you are not injured when you try this, you don't take damage from the contact poison since you are not, you know, bleeding. So let's give it a try. We might die anyway. Go with a powerful contact poison. Fortunately, the hardy constitution of the spirit warrior's body allows you to shrug off the effects of the deadly poison. Yeah, so this is the thing you need to immediately do. Inside the desk is a pair of braces. If you strap them on, feel instant increase in combat skills of your spirit warrior's body. So that is really good. Now then, we will... Uh, let us see. Uh, we will start to... Um, actually, let's go north. Let's go north. Because I think... We can proceed quite handily from here. Oh no, a gibbling! But we have a scroll with a gibbling picture on it, so... Uh, let's read this properly. A rapper gibbling rushes from the shadows to attack you. It's small body and mere blue blur of fur and teeth. It moves with such ferocious speed that retreat is not an option. But if we use the scroll, it'll just run away again. Hurrah! Let's search the room. Feels nothing of interest. Right then, let's go south. I believe that is actually 
Oh, wait, wrong direction. I meant west. Meant west. Let's go north. So, and now we go west. We go west. Da -da 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 -da. So, going through the ominous archway, basically, yeah. You sense an ominous presence beyond the archway to the west. And there's an iron chest that stands to the north wall. Examine the chest. The chest is too heavy for the spirit warrior to lift. The iron construction makes it impossible to break into. And the lid is locked. Without a key, there's no hope of opening it. Ah, but we remember back in the other room, there is an um, iron key, which we can find. You carefully sift through a thick layer of dust, but apart from chest and the door, there's not much of it. Right, so we are going to go uh, back to get to uh, where we were, the other previous fight with the ghosts and everything. Just do that, and then, uh, then one will return. Yeah, we'll head into this room and fight, uh, go through the ominous archway. So, back in a flash. Right, and we're back. Now we have the iron key for the chest, so let's examine the chest. Using the iron key you found earlier, you unlock the lid of the chest. Inside is a blue potion. Instinctively, the spirit warrior uses the, uh, use the potion, drinks it down, causing wounds to heal greatly. Oh, okay. So just healing. All right, well, that's nice enough. Let's go through the ominous archway. As you approach the door, a disembodied voice fills the chamber. The crypt beyond the waits. Once the threshold is crossed, there is no return. I'll pass through the cur through the arch and uh, enter the crypt. The smell of ancient death permeates this room. Standing upright against the far wall is a stone script crypt with an archway leading into the darkness. Carved over the archway is a hand with a single unblinking eye gazing out from the palm, the symbol of Helm. From within the darkness of the crypt comes the sound of slowly shuffling feet. The sight of the desiccated corpse wrapped tightly in bandages emerges from the crypt and comes as no, to you as no surprise. You sense this is a final confrontation for the spirit warrior and realize retreat is not an option. Use the Wand of Magic Missile to open fire! Wow, we are well prepped for this! As the mummy falls, the symbol of Helm erupts in a blinding light and you feel the body of the spirit warrior dissolve and your life force rushes back to your true body. As your life force is made whole, the strange force immobilizing your body releases you. You notice a large key in your possession that was not there before. Hooray! Playing a dungeon crawling D&D game has gotten us a key. I can carry them. Minions, get it! Alright, so that's the key. Guess we'll have to dump these. Oh, containers full. Cheerful. Uh, this we got to in and we can grab this and now we have two keys. Yes? Right Very then, well, well, next episode, because this has already gone a bit long thanks to this, but I thought it was a good rounding up for this episode. We'll rest, open the locks and see what happens. So till then.